What is up everyone? It's your boy Datum and then of course for today's video we are going to be doing our unboxing for the uh, Dark Magician Girl the Dragon Knight playset. If you guys remember January of last year um, I did it for the Ash Blossom playset and then I recently did it for the Dark Magician set and now we're back with this one. This one does have a mat so let's go super hype about this most of the konami products are the same this is really for, just for those people who have never seen it before or um those people are kind of on the fence about what they should get if they should get it again the game mat is around 15 uh the binder is around 10 and then these are about five a pop don't overpay for these you know don't pay more than 20 for this 10 15 for this you know the sleeves the only comes with 50 so definitely don't pay more than five bucks and then this same thing don't pay more than like six or seven for this um unless you absolutely want it and you really can't find it anywhere else yes yeah, so you know what let's get it started with the mats um i always like doing the mats first because it lets us have something beautiful to look at uh so yeah um, yeah, I've been using the Ash Blossom playset since from last year as kind of like my um, my uh, my mouse mat, pretty much. Um, I don't play with it too often. We ended up, I didn't realize how many mats I bought over the last year, so I just have so many rotations. I just left the Ash Blossom one on my desk. But uh, let's get right into it all. Oh. This looks phenomenal. Phenomenal. I hope you can see the whole dragon head. <laughs> I can't really see it from the angle of my phone. <laughs> but yeah, guys, so this is it. Um, again, you have Dark Magician Girl, Dragon Knight. The zones are very um, opaque, I guess. You know, you don't see them too much. Obviously, you know it's there if you're looking at them. But I think if it's just something sort of passive, if you have like a keyboard on top of it or something, um, definitely wouldn't notice it at all, man. It looks super good. Her art looks fantastic, beautiful. The colors are great on it. Uh, the sort of the washed out green on the dragon looks great. Uh, of course, Yu-Gi-Oh logo. And yeah, that's pretty much it, man. It looks pretty good. Again, sort of a thick thicker i guess rubber mat again if you have the ash blossom ash blossom mat or any of the konami ones it's all the same material so once you've seen one of them you've really seen all of them um yeah man this thing looks great next we're gonna get into the deck box box cutters for the win Okay yeah, guys, so the box says that it holds 70 cards. So don't necessarily know how we feel about that. But again, you know, this is really just to put your one deck you're gonna use in your extra deck, your side deck, and pretty much it. So typical, it does have the divider, which is the same thing. I uh, kind of wish they would have done something a little bit different for this one, but you know, can't complain, it's just a set dragon on the back has them again sides are nothing but they are see-through for the most part and then it does have this transition from like you know light blue to this teal darker blue and then a purple hue on the bottom oh god all right there we go yeah the hue's de definitely better on is it better or is that just the way it printed out hold up I have another one here. This one's Garces. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, okay. So it is. That is how it's supposed to be printed. So kind of more like a separation on this side, and then inside is supposed to be more of like a darker splotch. But again, you're not buying it for the side. You're buying it for the white one in the front. You heard? Um, all right. So now that we have this out the way, let's go into the sleeves. Yeah, man. So these are gonna be the typographic sleeves. 
um over time these do get a bit sticky so definitely um double sleeve the cards you're using as this or if you just want to put these for so, sort of like your um maybe some of your prize cards go ahead and do that it does have a beautiful holographic on it um very similar to the ash blossom ones they had the same they had the same sort of holographic effect but this looks this looks great i, I would honestly i would probably use this for my extra deck you know what i mean looks really good uh let me get a card good old dd crow yeah man super nice chilling you know what actually since we're here yes but since we are here why not double sleep you know what i mean i know it's not supposed to go on this side but <laughs> it's just a frame it all up it looks like This is a double sleeve. Um, yeah, man, definitely. Again, if you get any of these graphic um, card sleeves, definitely double sleeve them or just don't use them as often, man. These are definitely more sort of a collector's item for yourself. Um, use, them for the, use them for that one deck you really want to show off, but, you know, play it every once in a while. Don't use it all the time. So that way it is good for a long, long time. Hi, man. And then last but not least, the binder. These binders are honestly great. Um, I really enjoy having them. I kind of wish that. Eh, I don't know what. I was going to say I wish they had more sleeves. But these get, I mean, more pages. But honestly, when this thing gets, like, packed, it gets, it gets pretty thick. I mean, obviously, because you're putting cards in there, it's not like there's no cards. Oh, let me move this out the way real quick. But, yeah, man, just look, just look at that hollow, man. Pick up the binder. I, I will always advocate for the binders. Pick up the binders. They look great, man. Definitely super lit. Again, same art on the front and the back. All right, and then it does say Duelist Portfolio down on the side. And here we go. All right, these are ob obviously, this part's gonna be cardboard. And then this is gonna be their non-slip page. Again, it's sort of like, it's not a soft rubber or anything. It's more of like a repurposed fabric. Um, so yeah, so we got an effect mailer. What other card you want to use? Oh, we'll use King's Knight. You know what I'm saying? King's Knight warped. I gotta strain it out. <laughs> yeah, man. So here you go. Here is a normal card. Here we have a sleeved card. And then here we have a double sleeved card. Yeah, man. So you can definitely see how it is. Uh, let me put that for you so it's better orientated so yeah definitely um regular cards are fine single sleeves are fine double sleeves i would not recommend putting it in i don't know if you guys can notice that as well it's not the glare but you do have a portion of it hanging out the mat i mean hanging out the uh, card sleeve so definitely would not recommend double sleeving your cards into this portfolio definitely either keep them unsleeved or single sleeve all right you don't want to hurt yourself or your fantastic products that you guys bought in uh, oh you know what and here's also a field center just to show show that off the field center is perfect um in this so yeah we I mean, can definitely put these in the pages or just have a page or a few pages of the field centers and it'll look fantastic all right, man. Well, guys, that is it. This is just supposed to be a super quick review of the Dark Magician Girl set. Um, again, just to recap, the whole set should run you about 40 bucks in total. Um, I know when I paid it, 
I think I paid like 82, 81, 82 dollars for it between mine and Garces. And then I bought an extra mattress Devo. So I definitely think he gave me a little bit of a discount there. But um, but yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. It's your boy Data. Again, if you guys like these parts of you, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. Let me know down below what you guys want us to purchase and review. Well, alright guys, again, that is it. I'm all I'll see you guys in the next video.